awake? Yeah, I'm awake. Do you remember that Dad and I are going out of town today? Yes. What did I say? <sighs> you and Dad are leaving today? What else? You're gonna leave me money on the bar. I can have a few friends come over, but they can't spend the night. Don't leave the house a wreck. Okay, we'll call you when we get there. Alright. Looks like my dad. I know he does. What's up? Oh, what's up, James? Hey, what are you doing tonight? My parents are going to be out of town, so if you want to stop by, you can. Could I stay over? We'll see. All right, call me later. Yeah, they won't be back till tomorrow afternoon, and they said I could have a few people over, so. If you want to come over, we can watch a movie or play 360 or something. Yeah, that sounds good, but I kind of made plans with Finch yesterday for tonight. Is it alright if she comes too? Yeah, yeah, that's cool. I was going to invite uh, Tim and Noah anyways. Oh, alright. Alright, see you later. Later. So are we going to Seth's house after this? Yeah, we're going to um, watch a movie or play 360 or something. Alright, I'm down. Hey James. Logan, how's it going? Oh, uh, you know, same old, same old. You know Finch? Yeah, of course. What's up? Uh, nothing. I was supposed to meet a friend up here, but they just texted me saying they couldn't come. So. Sucks. Yeah, so what are y'all up to tonight? Uh, me and James were planning on going to Seth's house. Oh, yeah, that's cool. You could probably come too, if you want. I'm sure Seth wouldn't mind. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Uh, where does he live? Hey Seth. What's up James? And Logan. Uh, hey Seth, how are you? I'm alright. Oh, uh, that's cool. Could I use your bathroom? Yeah, down the hall. What is he doing here? Seth, I didn't mean for him to come. It wasn't... James, you know I don't like it when you used to invite people to my house. Seth, I'm sorry. It wasn't my fault. I just felt bad for him. His plans fell through, so I just decided... decided to invite him without asking me. Where's Jennifer? I thought she was gonna come. She said she was going to go see Nick before he left oh, time. Hey guys. Hey Tim. James, you know Tim? Yeah, yeah, we've had some classes together, right? Yeah, I think so. Where's Noah? Actually, he can't make it. Oh. Well, that's okay. Since James decided to invite Logan. <laughs> Look, said he's probably going to leave now anyway. Wait, who's leaving? Wait, someone's leaving? I'm really confused. Nobody's leaving. Well, actually, I should probably be uh, getting... Oh, Helene! What's everybody doing? Just killing some terrorists, you know. <laughs> How's that working out for you? Pretty good. Oh, yeah, all right. Let's get this party started. Wait, N no. Why not? No. Jennifer, are you serious? Seth, it's embrace. It's your senior year. You're allowed to have one fun night. Your parents aren't here. We'll clean everything up. And besides, we'll be fine by morning. Yeah, seriously, she got this for all of us. All right. But if you're going to, at least park your cars around the street. All right, okay. perfect. Wait, what are you going to tell your parents? Oh, Janice and George think I'm an Emma's. Yeah, my parents are off doing something at work. They don't care. Yeah, my parents don't care either, just as long as I check in. You know, my mom always trusts me here. All right. That works. That's not what I meant, Seth. It's just that it's, it's really... Someone has to stay sober to keep everyone else in check. What makes you think I can't do That's that? not what I meant! I just you don't... don't have to stay. I'm gonna go move my car. Be right back. Command engine 31, you're on my Yeah. Yeah, I already, I already got all that stuff for you. Look what I found. Put that down, it's my brother's. Right, chill out. I'm just gonna camcord his party in it up. What if somebody finds the tape? Chill out, princess. 
It'll be fine. I'll take care of it. All right, let's see the mambayaki. All right. Wait, how do people function like this? Why do I just... Leave me alone. You know what'll help? What? A drink. Does it make you skinny? It, sure, yeah. Um, Ready? Bottoms up. <laughs> Two, three. Bottoms up in the hood. Please, just check it. Bottoms up. Hail friends would hide. Oh my so gosh, you're gonna so throw so up after you do this slogan. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> It's 9.15. What? Why does it even matter? I'm not going. No. School starts at 8.30. You gotta clean up and go. Wait, didn't we clean up last night? <coughs> no. We forgot. Oh, I feel sick. I feel sick too, but there's nothing we can do about it. We need to clean up and go. You might as well finish off the bottles. We can't save them anyway. Alright, who's driving? You better just park all our cars down the street. Yeah, I don't feel like walking mine. Alright, I'll take you guys to school and bring you back afterwards. Alright? Okay. Can y'all do me a favor and run to a uh, print shop for me to pick up the election ballots? Sure, no problem. Okay, good. Let me grab the receipt so you know what you're getting. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. This is so much better than having to deliver notes. I can't believe they're actually letting us leave. I know. Well, it's the end of our PD, so let's jam out. Sounds good. Oh, Seth, what is this? It's across the universe. Oh, the original is so much better. Oh, yeah. Getting by with a little help from my friends. Mm, getting high with a little help from my friends. Whoa, Seth, it's not so good. Getting high with a little help from my friends. Do you? I need some. Now, one friend, what is your emergency? Hi, I need an ambulance. There's been a very bad wreck at the high school. I need somebody on here now. Okay, which ma'am? What high school are you at? 
<laughs> friends with high school. Friends with high school. Right okay. in front of the poles. Right in front of the poles. How many how many vehicles were involved? It looks like they're tents and a head on. It's their bait. They were hit a head on and now they're so trapped. I don't know. Okay, so there are injuries. Yes. Okay, yes. ma'am, if you'll stay on the phone, I'm going to go ahead and dispatch out the um, fire department and EMS, okay? Don't hang Just up. Just hurry, okay? okay? Hold on one second. I'll go find the family. What are you in high school, sir? Yes, sir. Okay, what grade are you in? I'm a senior. How is she? Um, she was in a car accident. She has injuries to her head, had injuries to her stomach. To, Unfortunately, those do? led to making her heart stop. And do you feel hopeless or that there's nothing to live for? Right now. So I'm, well, I'm sorry to tell you, but your daughter has died. That there's, you couldn't do anything. There's, at this point, there was nothing we could do with the injuries of her in her stomach which were too great for us to get her heart started again. Yeah. Would you please state your name for the record? Heather Limmer. Ms. Limmer, um, did you suffer some injuries? Are you okay? I can't feel my legs. EMS is on, on our way, okay? Hold on just a second. Great. Have the doctors indicated to you whether you will ever be able to walk again? They said I wouldn't be able to walk again. I'm sorry, I didn't understand you. What was your answer? They said I won't be able to walk again. Why don't you tell the court whether or not you regret your actions for May 20th, 2008? I regret them. What would you have done differently if you could turn back time? I would have listened to James. Your Honor, we find ourselves at the apex of a tragic situation. Seth Ramsey has proven himself to be a danger to the families of Friendswood. I'm asking that you impose the maximum possible punishment, 20 years 
in the Department of Corrections that we cannot be safe with Mr. Ramsey driving on the streets of Friendswood. Mr. Ramsey is not a danger to our society, and based on his testimony, you can believe that he will not make the same mistake twice. Your Honor, please do not throw away this young man's life. Mr. Ramsey, you're obviously a bright young man with a promising future, and as you testified, hopes and dreams of your own, but so did the persons whose lives you ended and impacted. Mr. Van Meter and Ms. Hawkins will not live another day, and Ms. Limmer will never walk. Therefore, Mr. Ramsey, I am today hereby sentencing you to 20 years imprisonment for each charge of intoxication manslaughter. Remember, Mr. Ramsey, you are the one who chose to throw away your own life as well as end the lives of two persons and devastate the life of a third. I know as a uh, Christian that I should have uh, compassion and some kind of forgiveness for you, but that is uh, not in my heart today. The fact that you feel remorseful and feel bad means nothing to me. It's nothing compared to what my wife and I feel in losing our daughter. I was there the day she came into the world, and I loved her every day with all my heart until the day you killed her. My life, my wife's life has been destroyed. I don't know if we will ever go on. This is just a day that we have the satisfaction of seeing you accept responsibility for what you've done. Seth, they've asked if I want to say anything to you, but the fact is I, I really don't know what to say. You've lost your friend, but I've lost my baby boy. Right, put your hands behind your back.